This podcast is brought to you by Enlightening Learners Academic Coaching and Tutoring. Guided questions that you'll need to re recall at the end of this presentation. There's one new vocabulary term that we need to talk about, which is the idea of the additive inverse. Essentially what it means is the opposite signs. So the additive inverse of negative 8 is going to be a positive 8. The additive additive inverse of a 2 is going to be a negative 2. The additive inverse of s would be a negative s. If we have a problem negative 13 minus 7, we can use the additive inverse to say negative 13 plus a negative 7. Which becomes a negative 20. Now, in this example, we've got a problem 17 minus a negative 8. We don't use the double negatives. And essentially, this negative, this minus sign in front of the parentheses, is telling you to find the opposite of everything inside these parentheses. So we can use the additive inverse to say 17 plus a positive 8, or 17 positive 8, and it becomes 25. If we've got a negative 17 minus a negative 30, we're going to use the additive inverse to change this to a negative sign, the minus sign to a plus, and change the value of everything inside the parentheses to its opposite. Negative 17 plus 30 becomes a positive 30. So an ex another example would be 4 minus 2 plus 4 minus 3 plus 5. We can go ahead and combine these. 4 minus 2 is a 2 plus 4 minus. We can use the concept of the additive inverse to change this to a plus sign and change these values to its opposite. Three plus five is eight, and the opposite of eight is a negative eight. And from that point, we've got two plus four, which is six, minus eight. We know that negative eight is larger than six, so I know my answer is going to be negative. Eight minus six is two. My answer is a negative two. Remember that when you see a negative sign in front of parentheses, it's telling you to find the opposite of everything inside these parentheses. So my next step to simplify this would be to change this to a negative 3, because minus a, negative th a positive 3 become a negative 3, and minus a positive x becomes a minus x.